Transit Film Studio presents a film by Svetlana Nasinkova. safety to all the cities in the world. Water, it's everywhere. It gives strength to all the creatures in the world. It's that water that we depend on. It gives strength to all the creatures on the planet. It's that water that we depend on every day. The water that we drink. It's the water that we wash ourselves with. It's the water that we just simply pour. It's the same water that without which we could not survive on the planet. As it can bring life to everything, it can also bring death. Russia is an enormous country with great perspectives for the development of clean water. If you take a look at the numbers, you realize that more than 400 million people in the world today do not have direct access to water. Therefore, Russia could be the solution to this problem. This problem has been developed by our scientist in St. Petersburg, Petrik. A wonderful development, a development that is required around the whole world. There is a great potential in this. In 2004, a sensation flew around the world. In 2004, at Manchester University in America, a new nanocarbon modification by the name of graphene was discovered. They say that at the university, 8 milligrams of this substance was created. Graphene has a big future. Moreover, already in 2001, the discovery of Viktor Ivanovich Petrix was registered by the International Association of Science Authors, on the basis to which was created by the author and was patented by the technology of industrial production of industrial material, which contains graphens and products of their kind, meaning the opening of carbon nanotubes and other carbon nanostructures. The essence of this production includes the destruction of normal graphite. All of your discoveries have a valuable meaning for mankind. They are a great part of your work which is taking place at the moment. We started an industrial production of carbon material which we call a mix of highly reactive capacity. We started an industrial production of carbon material which we call a mix of highly reactive capacity. The first tests were carried out in America. The best results in the world were with the activated charcoal, cocoa nut. And our material, which showed its potential is 350 times higher than activated charcoal. At that time we demonstrated the working capacity of that material. In that metal basket there is only USVR, at the exit of the glass tube is oil, gasoline, kerosene and soil. At the actual water that doesn't contain not even one molecule of carbohydrates. This is a tested installation. Look what mixes in ordinary water, oil, sand and other components. Now we pour this horrible mix into the container. We see a huge ecological catastrophe. And then the unique Russian technology begins to work. Nanocarbon filters turns this liquid into drinking water. There is the water, which I can drink and enjoy life. Cheers! Try the water first, and then thank me. No smell, tasty. It's really tasty water. 
We are the first here today to witness the real industrial application of nanotechnology. How often do we say, nanotechnology will change the future? Where is it? Did we see it before? Now we see the technology that is demanded by every living person in the world. From Kuwait, they brought this horrible sand with oil. We mixed the sand with our UNCV and we got clean water. I took it and drank it and everyone took two steps back in horror. I handed the glass to the sheik. The sheik smelled the water and handed it to his minister of water and said, try it. The minister smelled it and handed it back to the sheik. The sheik looked at it and then drank it. In two days, he fired him. The fear to drink purified water always sounds suspicious. Good water. Vielen Dank. I drink auch. We are not afraid, people. <laughs> At the public school number 13 in Veliki Novgorod, we've installed filtration of different strains. A part of them were set up in the lower grades, a part in the cafeteria and medical rooms. These filters effectively improve the chemical analysis of water. They also conserve the necessary microelements that people need. They are destined for the thorough cleansing of drinking water from free particles of active chlorine, iron, rust, and the remaining aluminum. Tell me, these are in schools, hospitals, and baby delivery centers. In all the schools in the Novgorod region, they started to install them in Nizhny Novgorod in Krasnodar, Krasnoyarsk, and other cities. We are the first to realize this program in Amur. Shaigu was given transport. We brought our domestic installations and got clean drinking water. And now we are the first to set up in Saznobibor in processing liquid radioactive waste. And oil spills in the sea, on water. What kind of profitability? About 5,000%. Cold synthesis doesn't require equipment. Watch. We can launch it on a boat, wherever necessary. We can solve any catastrophe. Now one scientist carried out an experiment on his boats. When a boat approaches and is spilling oil, they pour water in it to act as a countermeasure so that it won't sink. This balancing of water with oil stays there for three days. The countries of the Persian Gulf have signed a contract about not throwing water into the Persian Gulf. They are building gigantic factories. Our simple mechanism allows us to gather oil and get drinking water from it. Oil spills, liquid radioactive waste. Here is exactly 50 grams. We believe that 50 grams should be absorbed by one gram of our product. We can compare this to a big catastrophe. This cup is equivalent to one gram of our product. Let's assume that in the ocean there are constant waves. You see that the water, besides the powder, is absolutely clean. There is not one bit of oil remaining. USVR can clean a huge area of oil and oil byproducts on a scale of 1 to 50 within 5 seconds. Only with new technology in real life can these huge problems of mankind be solved. The 
At the equator, USVR is applied to the area cordoned off to hold in the oil. The flow through the separator is loaded by the cleansing steps from 0.003, which means it is lowered by several thousand times. In the laboratory, we've done various analysis of the water. They didn't believe us. They tested themselves after this. The conclusion was positive. Today our filters will be installed along with the separator into ships that can clean all by themselves everything and throw back into the sea drinkable water. This is demonstrated here. Big tests were made and the manager of the boats has invited an important delegation to demonstrate its effectiveness. The most important thing is that there is a limit to its absorption. It's called saturated forest. You can't take an absorbent that weighs 10 tons on a ship. You will use all the available space and this problem is solved that we can get a concentrate and without any other equipment. Here we see how it raises like dough. The secret of all this? The gap between the Tamarni ties. Without the application of any energy. We saw a bucket of graphite. We have seen the ongoing process, depending on the modifications which I run. If this is changed in the sorbate, this is 400, 500 times. If this is changed in the modified nanotubes, carbon nanostructures are at 600, 700 times. This is how it is done, a hot cloud. Environmental pollution has a negative impact on the health of at least a billion people in the world. The number of potentially infected people are some five and a half million people. The types of pollutants are enriched uranium, plutonium, strontium, heavy metals, and radioactive iodine. Here at Cascade in Chelabinsk are the filters of Viktor Ivanovich, and in the area of water, clean water is discharged. Here almost 200,000 tons of chemical waste is improperly disposed and illegally dumped in the groundwater. There is a huge problem. It is liquid radioactive waste. It is clear that all companies have a repository at Rosatom. The processes of production of electricity is not possible today. No such process without the use of water. Accordingly, there are approaches of water. There are huge reservoirs, in particular in Tchensky, where volumes exceed hundreds of millions of tons of radioactive water. And these are the technologies that exist today, the world of technology. We talk about the world's technology, they do not solve the problem. Either this is highly expensive technology that companies can't afford to exploit the data installation, or it takes a long time and is an impossible installation in industrial quantities. First, the idea is proposed and is tested in practice. The cleanup of liquid radioactive waste in industrial quantities at an affordable price. I think that you are the first person in the world to see the installation, which makes it possible to solve this problem. That is the challenge. We have waste and we are able to clean it up. First of all, with strontium-90, cobalt-60, cesium-137, europium-152, 154YU-155. These radionuclides are isotopes, which are liquid radioactive waste and are in the water. Now all this cleans itself. This is really cleaned up to the maximum allowable concentration. By our standards, there is such a figure, MCL. 
the maximum concentration. But a notion of interference, that is. It is clean water that can't be used as drinking. Here is the installation of liquid radioactive waste, which contains about 2.5, 3,000 units per liter of radiation, which allows to clean this water up to the level of interference, until the level of 1 unit per liter. That is what we are talking about today. Почистить эту воду до уровня невмешательства, до уровня одного бикерелина лит. Вот о чем мы сегодня говорим. Красный бор под Петербургом. Сюда десятилетия. Красный бор near Saint Petersburg. Here for decades were dumped thousands of tons of hazardous chemical waste, and not only with businesses in our country, but also with companies of the former socialist countries. This place is called the repository. It was believed that the length of Cambridge can contain this death. However, due to constant replenishment of the water, which comes in in the form of natural precipitation, all tanks had already reached their potential limit. The fatal meeting point is about to gush over the edge. Their number is reduced by continuous evaporation, and they are flying along with the pairs on the roof of our houses, penetrating into our windows, filling the lungs of our children. But our technology is created by Russian scientists. Their implementation needs only the goodwill of those who decide our fate. It is from here, one may say, the lake water was collected. There is a serious delegation. Army generals, the generals of the Ministry of Emergencies, and government members are responsible for these evils. With this sorbate today, we showed that when simply passing through the primary filter, we have already received a clear liquid. With the following procedure, we received a clean liquid, because aquarium fish live there. Tritiravanaya water is the most important toxic waste of the nuclear energy industry and comes to the environment in large quantities. Assessment of risk to human health irradiated by small doses of Chitiravania water could be catastrophic. Our work is aimed at the removal of liquid radioactive waste, which is the highlight of our work, this localization of tritinium contained in waste. Here, Viktor Ivanovich came up with such an idea after the visit of the Canadian delegation to the Golden Formula, after they reported on the status of the cleanup in heavy water reactors. I tell you that in heavy water reactors there is a very large amount of tritium compared to light water reactors. And the concentration of tritium, if not treated, the extraction of tritium from heavy water reactors can reach 60 curium. Curium 70 per kilogram. It presents a great danger to personnel who work these nuclear power plants in the case of spilled water. Any leakage and abnormal situations. Canadians are dealing with this problem, but Viktor Ivanovich came up with the idea, given the fact that in Russia they have a lot of experience in technology development detection, to create such a model installation of the metal which will compile all the experience gained in Russia to ensure this was a demo unit that we could provide any user. Here you see the booth. We have developed together with the Progress Ecology, which was designed to determine the capacity of various sorbents for radioiodine. But not only for radioiodine, but also for identifying prospects, where it may even be used to identify volatile radionuclides such as tritium, carbon-14, and others. 
In particular, we tried on it the servant. We call it Victor Petrik. Initial tests show that the servant can be effective in the case of chelidum or other iodine campaigning compounds. Here, approximately 0 0.10 nanometers to 100 is a fraction. Here, granules or grains, that's about 20 micrometers, which we studied here. We are now thinking about how to effectively test radio iodine in different companies. This man is searching for new ways and tries to immediately move from theory to practice. The identity is interesting, diverse, a very interesting scope for action. I think that our colleagues and I would like to work together in an area where we do not see ourselves as ill-prepared. That is, the cleansing of tritium gas flows and what we are going to do with it. In this installation, a catalyst is used, which was developed under the leadership of Petrik. Radio Institute, who has worked with several leading companies in our country, such as Vayanovmed, Russian State Technological University, and others. The establishment of an industrial plant for processing the waste of tritium-containing elements. Промышленные установки для переработки this is not just technology. Everything is gathered around in order to use it to scale. In today's world, large-scale development of nuclear power is beginning. It is what is called energy renaissance. An increasing number of countries said that they are taking part in great building programs of nuclear reactors. In the next 30 years, the world will build about 500 new large nuclear power reactors. And our country alone in the next 20 years should be built 26 large power plants. This is almost equal to what we have built during all the Soviet years. There is one main issue for the development of atomic energy. The security of today's nuclear plants have learned to ensure sufficiently everywhere the duplicate control system. Security systems will be improved, but always with opponents of nuclear power. There is one fundamental question. Can we not develop nuclear energy without waste? This is inevitable. Actually, the main answer that we must make today is whether we have appropriate technology to ensure the waste is transferred to a safe condition, to bring it to the standard of drinking water. The technology of which we speak today is one of those answers. The development of the scientist Victor Petrik will allow us to clean up industrial effluents in the number of most likely 40,000 cubic meters. In the industrial drainage from the foundry, which is located on the floor above, they are collected into a common manifold and into the accumulative capacity of the plant. As a result of treatment, with the help of our installation, we get the drinking water quality. The water has a pleasant taste, cleaner than the tap. Now I will show you what there was in the beginning. With the filter, which is now in a degree of contamination, the water comes into our installation.
меня была коммерческая линия с Японией. I had a business line with Japan. I delivered a sorbent, and in Japan they made this here very beautiful tissue, which was filled with our sorbent. It was very nice. It was made by this wave, and there was a tube in the sorbent. Like when you fill up a car and spill some gasoline, there's always a trace of it that won't come up. But with this cloth, Hold at the molecular level, it would be completely cleansed of gasoline. In this form, could you deliver? Sure. Send us now the first container. Methyl tribulobi ether. This is an additive to gasoline to increase the octane number of gasoline and reduce emissions. This terrible additive in gasoline, which polluted water throughout the United States from Maine to California and caused the problem which is called the most serious environmental crisis in the coming decades. Ten years ago, Congress asked the oil companies to add the gasoline methyl tribulobi ether which makes a cleaner burning gasoline. It was anticipated this will lead to the purification of air, but now the substance appears in the lakes and underground water in 20% of cities in the country, forcing authorities to close their water supply system. Effective from the 1st of January 2004, the use of methyl trebilovibi ether is prohibited in California. Restrictions are in place in the states of New York and Connecticut, as well in four other U.S. states. In 2003, in the United States, 1,515 water provision systems were contaminated with methyl tribuvili ether. The number of systems serving nearly 40 million people, or one-sixth of people living in the United States. Nearly 30 million people suffer from pollution in California, at least 2 million people in the state of New Jersey and Massachusetts, and at least 1 million in the states of Pennsylvania and Texas. In 1990, President Bush Sr. signed a national program called Clean Air Cities of America. According to the program, as an additive in gasoline as an octane booster, methyl trebulobi ether began being added, and in five years all seven wells feeding Santa Monica were closed. The water was contaminated with a chemical compound MTBE. In America, the first city of ghosts appeared. For example, because of the poisoned water, MTBE has fully settled in Grenville City. It is believed that the presence of MTBE in the water is above 20 micrograms per liter and can cause cancer of the kidneys. In many cities, it is not recommended to take a hot shower because the ether evaporates easily and can enter the respiratory tract. Today, in 23 states, the use of MTBE is prohibited by law. The U.S. Congress has allocated for the study of the problem several billion dollars. One billion dollars has been allocated as a grant to universities and research centers on the development of purification technologies of contaminated water. At the same time, it is thought that if such technology will be created, the cleaning of the already poisoned water will take at least 40 years and not less than 200 billion dollars. In November 2003, scientists came to Victor Petrik from America to participate in the development of technologies to clean up poisoned water. The problem was solved in three months. The result of careful analysis of the water was the conclusion of the laboratory, Sierra. Traces of ether in the water weren't detected. Now infested water will be cleaned up by using the technology developed by Professor Petrick. The water is clean. April 15, 2004, the delegation of scientists and representatives of the U.S. think tank tested the installation of a pilot water treatment of methylbutyl TD. The tests performed in the United States have shown that traces of the substance were not revealed. The technology has passed the patent examination in the United States and received an American patent. We hope that the collaboration with Professor Petrick will bring enormous benefits to our country, for both the economy and the environment. What is particularly valuable is that Mr. Petrick doesn't process and transform the already known principles, but invents entirely new ones. 
The innovation and invention of Professor Petrick is truly achieving for the 21st century. Инновации и изобретения профессора Петрика – это поистине достижение 21 века. Джордж W. Bush formally invited Victor Petrick to the birthday of Bush Sr. Clean air to the cities of the world. Most importantly, the most acute problem today is the safe storage of hydrogen on board a vehicle. And all scientists around the world are working on this today. This cylinder contains nanocarbon structures coated with platinoids by my gas phase technology. The Japanese know how to keep 1.8% of hydrogen. American scientists have created 2.8%. Here's a substance that keeps 4.6 tenths of hydrogen. Six is required. I'm close. Creating pressure hydrogen is completely going away. How can such a molecule? Here is an atom, and here is an atom. If we draw a molecule of a hydrogen atom, and the atom is like that, and here the second atom, the molecule is here. This is a connection. It did not pass. Because the pace in the platinum between tamarine is like that. I pour in one volume, two volumes of liquid hydrogen. Мы счастливы, что приехали в Россию. Today I saw three or four experiments. I looked on with great admiration. The scholars and I received a very interesting experience. Thank you very much. Professor Petrik, он не только как сказать. Professor Petrick is not only an outstanding scientist, but he knows very well the culture. In particular, Japanese culture knows the various games. He understands very well the music. He makes musical instruments. He has very broad interests and his skills are very broad. It is impossible to name any one of them. A very wide range of knowledge. As a man in the understanding of culture, painting. It is difficult for us to imagine how one person can know so much. A program was developed for the transition of transport to the gasoline Euro 3, Euro 4 and Euro 5. A turnover of petrol with octane numbers 80 and 92. An effective additive on the basis of nanomaterials provides the required quality of gasoline to improve the environmental performance of the resulting fuel. Russia was to move on to gasoline Euro 3 in December last year. Three components were seized. If they are to merge in the same proportions as described, they will give a 0.8 increase of octane. But of course, there is seriously polluting output of products of combustion. If you miss it, everything goes to the nano catalyst, and something not really understandable happens. And of all these independent tests have shown that the addition of one and a half percent will ensure that we get the gasoline which we wanted. Three percent, we get gasoline. Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven. At four percent, gasoline one hundred. And yet, well, it showed little change. This is the base gasoline. It is clear. It is an additive. 
Но вот что ошибка. But that stunned everyone, including me. And here the Academy of Sciences comes to the rescue. Here it is. Base gasoline is the norm. But that is the result of the additive. This is absurd. Вот это норма. А вот что получено в результате нашей присадки. Это абсурд. Если где-то добавилось, то там же... If it was added here, it would be also added. But it was decreased. That is why today we say that we will declare America announced Clean Air Cities America. Erroneously took MTBE and we intend to declare under the flag of the party Clean Air Cities of the World. Of course, in our country and private will be the additive to produce and sell to a variety of organizations. I think that our meeting is useful to review some ideas, inventive ideas to our community, to which Victor Petrick takes part. I've known him a long time. The main thing is that we were acquaintances before my stay in Moscow. It is very important. People who are just interested in science. I believe that the efforts of the government are very important and necessary. That is to accelerate the processes from concept to its concrete realization. Here Victor reached his rather stunning results. At least getting nanocarbons, something he did quite a long time ago. It works on my perspective on three fronts. Use it to clean the water. It is possible to solve the problem of clearing the land. You can resolve the problems of air purification, etc. This is nanotechnology. It needs a bunch of inventions with practical uses and possible options. It is very important. Проблема очистки воздуха и так далее. Это нанотехнологии. И у него к этому еще вот такой шлейф, что ли, от его, от основного изобретения, уже практического использования, шлейф возможных вариантов. Вот это чрезвычайно важно. И вот его одна из особенностей, он из, вот решив, скажем так, теоретически эту проблему, one of its features is solving the problem theoretically, with the first practical result of it very quickly put into action. It is the time in which we are now. It is necessary to quickly implement it, then see what else is out there. Надо очень быстро реализовывать то, что пока иногда только на кончике пера имеет место быть. This is a real scientist who is very committed to science. It is a love, and he not only loves, but still infects others. The mutual desire to cooperate between the Academy and Viktor Ivanovich has been quite open. Это заражает еще и окружающих. Взаимное желание сотрудничать Академии и Виктор Ивановича, ну Виктор Иванович Академии, вот так правильно будет сказано, оно прозвучало, по-моему, совершенно открыто. The film would like to thank the scholar Victor Petrick for taking part in the film.